As Syrian President Bashar Assad rejects the chemical weapons allegations and warns the U.S. against an attack on his country, the Israelis have their own kind of reaction, getting prepared. The Syrians proved that they're using chemical weapons, right? So just to be on the safe side. Distribution of chemical protection kits have been going on for several years, but after a weekend of worsening reports from the northern neighbor, many Israelis who have neglected to do so decided this is the time to get their masks. It appears that Obama is about to do something and Assad is with his back to the wall and he already used chemical weapons, so uh, it's unlike the previous times when the things were not on the thread like they are right now, so come today. The possibility of more turmoil in the region has led to a sharp rise in the number of Israelis picking off their gas masks. The Israeli postal company, which operates the mask distribution centers, reported it received yesterday four times the usual number of calls for information regarding shelters and gas protection. Despite the long queues, there's not much panic among Israeli residents who mainly just want to be prepared. I watch the news and I see what's going on. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to happen. but. Um, no panic for now, I think. It's really on our borders. I mean, uh, just a day or two days before, like thousands of people uh, got gassed in Syria. In Lebanon, it's not even uh, even better. Uh, Egypt, everybody, everybody knows uh, what's going on. It's all around us. According to the Home Front Command, only 60% of Israelis currently have gas masks to protect them from potential chemical weapon attack. To complete the distribution to the entire population, approximately 1.3 billion shekels more will be needed. The masks themselves are good for 25 years, and a refurbishing operation would come at a cost of another 300 million shekels a year. Up until a week ago, the rate of demand for gas masks was a steady 2,000 kits per day. But only yesterday, it reached almost 4,000 kits. As the debate rages in the U.S. and Europe about possible military intervention in Syria, Israel has called for international action to halt the Syrian government's use of chemical weapons. The red line was crossed, I mean the, 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 the international red line of not using chemical weapons and all the more so of not using chemical weapons against civilians. Syria is reported to have an arsenal of at least 100,000 missiles, some of which can target any area in Israel. Many Israeli residents believe the Syrian president won't be thinking twice whether to strike or not. Bashar Assad, if he uh, put it on his own people, he don't have any problem to do it on others, especially if they're Israelis or Jews.